Hello, I'm Lake McGee. And I'm Samantha Bowers. And welcome to Show Me Chefs. Chefs is a new show where talented local chefs who have world experience use locally sourced foods to whip up some fantastic dishes. Our chefs will put together a three-course meal for a panel of judges. They will then be graded on several factors, the overall presentation of the dish, the color of the food, the smell and texture, and most importantly, the taste. Lakin will be with our chefs while I check in with our judges. Today's show features two prominent chefs from the Springfield area. Our first chef is Chef Aaron Gregory from Fire and Ice in Oasis Convention Center. So, Chef, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I've been cooking for 22 years. I'm active in our American Culinary Federation, and I've been at their Oasis for the last three years. I've cooked in Houston, Texas, Florida, um, Kansas and Arkansas, and Missouri. Okay, well, good luck today. Thank you. Okay, Chef Blaine, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I've been cooking all my life. I grew up in the family business, tried to break away from it, and ended up working in Santa Barbara, California, and now I'm back here in Missouri, and, and I'm running the family business. Okay, well, good luck to you today. Thank you. Let's check in with Sam and our judges. Today we have three judges who represent many facets of work from around the Springfield area. The judges that we have are Judge Jim Blancett, owner of Copper Run Distillery, Diana Hicks, co-owner of Mama Jean's Natural Market, and Angela Winathron Tree, General Manager and Executive Chef at 319 Event Center. Lakin, back to you. Our chefs will go through three timed rounds of cooking using mystery ingredients provided by local businesses. The winner of today's quarter round will move on to the semifinal round of Show Me Chefs. So let's get started. Now is the time for the mystery ingredients. We have apples and pecans from our pantry provided by Mama Jeans, and our highlighted ingredient, Bison from Miller Bison at Elkhead Ranch. Chefs, you will have 20 minutes to complete your appetizer. If you're ready, your time begins now. Coming up on Show Me Chefs, the competition really gets cooking as our chefs try to work with the mystery ingredients. How are you doing? Doing great. So how are you going to incorporate the mystery ingredient? Okay, well I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to do an apple slaw, and then we're going to do some uh, spiced pecans with it, so we'll, That's pretty good. we'll put it together and figure out how it works as we're going, right? Okay, well you got about 14 minutes. Alright. Alright chef, how are you doing over here? I'm doing good. Doing good? How are you going to use the apples? I'm going to put it in a salad, and then I'm going to roast off some uh, bison. I'm going to use some bean thread noodles and uh, do a little quick uh, Asian style bison, all right? Well, you have about 14 minutes. All right, Good thank luck. you. Okay, judges, what do we think about these mystery ingredients? Judge Diana, the apples and pecans are two of them that were provided by Mama Jean. So how do you hope to see those incorporated into the appetizers? Well, I mean, he's talking about a, an apple slaw. I think the sweet with the little maybe vinegary in the slaw that get all those sweet, yeah. savory tastes together that that works really well. Judge Angelo, are you familiar with bison? That's our highlighted ingredient. Have you ever cooked with bison yes, or eaten uh, bison? Yes, it is a very lean meat. You gotta be very careful how you cook it. But both chefs, two different styles, two different, uh, I think Leanne's gonna go with the Asian style. Can't wait to see it. 
So, Judge Jim, are you a sweet or a savory person? I'm a savory person. Okay. It, it's great to see the competition. It's going to bring out the best in both of our chefs, I can tell. about Miller Bison at Elkhead Ranch. We had space and, and always had an interest in bison from my cattle business days on a ranch where I rounded up some bison one time. Um, and I went to an auction and I was gonna buy two or three head of bison and as most auctions go, I ended up buying 20. What we've learned is, is that one, the meat is very good. And, you know, it's sweeter, it's, it's very lean, it's very, very healthy. As far as the animal goes, we've found that it's very easy to take care of. Bison's kind of a growing trend right now and a lot more people are starting to learn about it from all these other sources and stuff. We have the National Bison Association, but everybody really seems to like the no antibiotics, no growth hormones that um, the bison industry works by. And so once you get people to try it, it's really not that hard of a product to sell because it has both ends of that where it tastes really good and the product's really high quality. How you doing, Wing? I'm doing good. Are you buying the spinach? Come through. Uh, top left, I think. Okay. All right. Coming through. All right, chefs, one minute for those finishing touches on your appetizers. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, knives down. Chef, you were asked to create an appetizer using the given mystery ingredients. The time has now come to present to the judges. The judges will be grading your dishes on several factors. The overall presentation, the aroma, the taste, and the use of the mystery ingredients. Chef Aaron, please present your dish. I, what I did was I used the bison, so basically a steak and slaw, um, using now that we're going into the season. Um, as we spoke earlier, that the bison is leaner, so I spiced it up a little bit, um, tried to braise it as much as I could in oil, and then on the slaw, apples um, to try to show those off so I put more apples in, julienne onions, um, made a quick vinaigrette and then peppers so it's going to be nice crisp and clean, a little bit of sweet and then a little bit of spicy.
the bison is cooked to perfection. It blends well together. I like the texture, the crunch, the freshness of the apples and the peppers, uh, the, the savory uh, spices. The bison's fantastic. I think it's cooked to perfection. Thank you, Chef Aaron. You may return to your station. Chef Wing, please tell the judges what you've made for them today. Well, I was going to prepare a bison with uh, Asian bean thread noodles and, and apples and caramelized uh, nuts. As you can see, I obviously didn't get there. Uh, I let time get away from me. And it's a kind of an embarrassment. Uh, I'm a better chef than that. And I wish you could have tasted the final product. I just had to get it on the plate. I'm uh, intrigued by the aroma. Yeah. Looking forward to what was uh, to come. And uh, disappointed that uh, I didn't get to try the, the finished result. I understand the time restraint is incredibly difficult. I've been watching you work over there. And we just missed, uh, missed it by a, a few seconds, I think. Well, it was a two-minute warning, and next thing I know, I kept it was five seconds. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I'll manage my time better next time. Hey, you know, you just need to knock it out of the park in the entree round. Now. Right. You know, just that's all. These are really good. They, yeah, it's a, a, it's a wonderful tease. I know. <laughs> He knows how to get that mm -hmm. just flavor, yeah, man. Wish you could have tasted the rest of it. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Wing. You may return to your station. Coming up, the chefs prepare to square off in our entree round. Welcome back to Show Me Chefs. Before the break, our chefs had to create an appetizer using the mystery ingredients. After 20 minutes of cooking, they created some fantastic dishes for the judges to grade. Now is the time for the entree round. Each chef will have 40 minutes to prepare an entree using the mystery ingredients. Chefs, your ingredients are blueberries, cucumber, and chicken from our pantry, and the highlighted ingredient, moonshine from Copper Run Distillery. Chefs, you have 40 minutes to complete your entree. If you're ready, your time starts now. Let's take a moment to get to know our chefs. I started cooking at 18, 19 years old. I actually started as a dishwasher at uh, Shady Inn, which was a fine dining steakhouse. And then uh, kind of life started clicking along. I was 20 and decided I needed to go to college and uh, went to OTC, the culinary department, and took my job and made a career out of it. I work at Fire Nights nice and the Oasis Convention Center. We're open for uh, lunch and dinner. Uh, we have dry aged steaks, we're known for our pad ties. Um, a majority of everything we make is made in house. So nothing but the freshest ingredients. Uh, try to source as much local as we possibly can. You know, it's very personal. You're doing something for somebody, you know, no matter if it's a banquet of fried chicken or if you're doing, you know, filet or a lobster or uh, a five course or seven course meal for somebody. It's intimate and you want to give them the best experience that you possibly can. I got started in culinary business. I was probably almost born <laughs> in the back of the kitchen. My dad worked as chef at other restaurants, so we always was associated with that. A partner from uh, Springfield wanted to partner up with my dad and uh, bring him to Springfield, Missouri, where he started the Springfield style cashew chicken. But I tried to break away. I uh, moved uh, to Santa Barbara, California in 1980. It was just a natural for me to work in restaurants and. I ended up taking over restaurants and uh, became executive chef uh, and I uh, got an education in culinary I never would have ever obtained here. Uh, finally, uh, after getting tired of working for other restaurants, I decided it was time 
to do this again and my dad actually surprised me by agreeing that we need to do this again and uh, uh, we opened up Leong's Asian Diner in uh, December 6, uh, 2010. So we've been here a little over four and a half years. <laughs> Garlic everywhere. Aaron, how are you doing over there? I'm sweating. How about you? I'm doing good. All right. Walking and wobbling. You know, those Asians with chicken. I followed in your shadows long enough that I think I can make some catchy chicken too, so we'll see what happens. Flaming point, right? Let's take a moment to learn a little bit more about Copper Run Distillery. I think the biggest difference between Copper Run and some of the large distilleries that have been around for hundreds of years is that we get to focus on the quality rather than the quantity. And our whole business model is small batch and big passion. And we literally make one barrel at a time. And each barrel is unique. We don't try to make them exactly the same. We try to make each one as good as we possibly can. And there's so many influences, the type of yeast that we use, the type of grains, uh, the time of year, the aging process. So it's really fascinating to me uh, to be able to really focus on the quality and make every single individual barrel as good as we possibly can. At least I got my plates up this time.
Come through. Hurt. All right, chefs, 20 minutes. We're halfway there. All right, so Judge Jim, as the owner of Copper Run Distillery, how are you hoping to see our highlighted ingredient, your moonshine, incorporated into their entrees? Uh, you know, the, the uh, overproof moonshine is at 120 proof. It's very concentrated. So the corn, barley, and wheat has a lot of flavor to offer as it's not watered down. Uh, so I'm really open to interpretation. I'm excited to see what they come up with. I'm excited too. It looks like we've got some very different dishes going on. Judge Diana, what are you hoping to see from our chefs this round? Well, I'm just hoping for some more good food. <laughs> the first round looked very good. So. It was delicious. <laughs> and, um, Time constraint. And just watching them, the different things that they're putting together, I'm very anxious. Are you anxious to see what Chef Wing comes up with this round? Yes. I think he's, he's going to redeem himself yes. on this one. Judge Angelo, as the executive chef of 319, what would you do to incorporate the moonshine as well as the other highlighted ingredients into this entree? Looks like they got it covered for the fact. And I've seen uh, Chef Aaron using uh, and kind of almost emulsifying the blueberries and the uh, moonshine. And I'm waiting to see how uh, Chef Wing's using the moonshine and that probably already has in a marinade. So several ways to do it, but they're doing great right now. How's it going? Good, what about you? I'm still breathing. Breathing good, well it's yeah. looking really good over here. Thank you. Okay, so what do you have going on? I'm making an omelet. I'm doing a dish inspired by my good friend Wing Leon. So, kind what of a different. Is that? <laughs> I'm doing basically a rice bowl. Rice bowl. Yeah. Okay, well it looks really good. Okay, chef. What, what do you have for your dishes today? I have a uh, Mediterranean style roasted chicken with roasted uh, vegetables. I'm having a blueberry sauce that I've used uh, the Copper Run uh, Moonshine. And then I did some pickled uh, cucumbers with the uh, Copper Run Moonshine too. All right, well good luck. Usually Aaron and I are always cooking, but we're cooking with each other. Yeah, so this is unique. Chefs, you have 10 minutes.
Okay, Chef Wayne. Are you about ready? We're getting there. We're getting ready to plate right now. Okay, well, it smells really good over here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm hoping that I'm going to get to try a little bit of it. Uh, we'll see some for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Chef Aaron. How are really you? creative looking over here. Thanks. So, I got a lot of dark colors going on. So, I want to lighten it up a little bit, right? So, I have my five spice chicken that I made. Basically, this is going to be my take of a rice bowl. Okay, so what did you do with the moonshine? Uh, the moonshine, I used I used the uh, blueberries and uh, kind of um, sauteed those down, deglazed with moonshine, pureed it, added chicken stock, butter, and uh, a little bit of vinegar, so kind of a take on a gastric and a pan sauce, so. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. When we return, the chefs will present to the judges. Chefs, you were given mystery ingredients from Copper Run Distillery and have created an entree for our judges. It is now time to present. Chef Aaron, please tell the judges what you have made for them today. I did my version of a chicken and rice bowl. I utilized um, the Copper Run uh, Moonshine for the glaze. I took the blueberries that we were given, took those, um, kind of hit them a little bit of sugar, so I knew that we're gonna have some powerful flavors coming in from the three ingredients that are in the whiskey, so I added, sweetened it up a little bit, added vinegar, chicken stock, and then finished it with butter, so it's kind of a take on a gastric. Um, the pickled vegetables, so you need vegetables to go with your stir fry. So instead of just doing stir fried vegetables traditionally, I made a quick pickle, pickled those, and then instead of giving it to you cold, I decided to heat it up because I think it would go a little bit better with the rice bowl. Um, you see the asparagus as a garnish on the edge, and then the chicken, I used a, uh, um, a five spice blend, and then um, roasted that, pulled it apart, and then just a quick hit, um, heated it back up, and then an omelet on top. So you had eggs two ways. I saw the brown eggs in there. Wanted to utilize those because they look delicious. And what better goes with chicken and the egg, right? So, awesome. Thank you. Chicken two ways. I love the blueberry sauce. It's excellent. Putting the pickling vegetables with the rice comes together. Yeah, right yeah. There. you're going to get some acid that way. Right. I love to work with purple sticky, but having worked with it in the past, I know it's going to take me a little bit longer than using a, a white rice or a, a long grain rice. So, very good. Yeah, very nice. Thank you, Chef Aaron. You may return to your station. Chef Wing, please tell the judges what you've made for them. Well, I want to do a classic uh, comfort food, the roasted chicken. And uh, I seasoned it, I, I did more of a Mediterranean style, uh, roasted uh, r red uh, potatoes, I put mushrooms, onions, I put a little asparagus in there. And then I made a sauce with uh, the Copper Run moonshine with the blueberry. And then I house pickled the cucumbers in the moonshine and a little bit of vinaigrette. Okay. And then I did a little garlic crostini on top. It has everything in it. I mean, my, my mouth feels pretty satisfied when I take a, uh, a bite to it. That's awesome. Thank you. The aromas blend together and uh, or this is an in incredible presentation. Uh, certainly comfort food. I, I feel very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Judges, any final comments or questions for Chef Wing? I think, I think he came around the second I, time around yeah. swinging. 
Very nice. He, he came out of the gate running on this one. It was Excellent use of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down to the last uh, garnish at the last second. Just perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chef Wing. You may return to your station. When we come back, the chefs gear up for the dessert round. Welcome back to Show Me Chefs. Our chefs have created an appetizer and an entree for our judges. Now is the time for the dessert round. The competitors will have 20 minutes to provide a dessert and present it to the judges. Chefs, your ingredients are blackberries and hazelnuts from Mama Jean's Pantry, and the highlighted ingredient, black tea from Ozark Mountain Coffee. All right, chefs, you will have 20 minutes to complete your desserts. Your time starts now. Chef Wayne, do you have any idea what you're going to be doing? I'm used to drinking tea. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the tea. Okay, we'll all see. right. So do you know what you're going to be doing with those blackberries? Still undecided. We'll Still see. undecided? Okay. We're going to wing it. Wing it? <laughs> wing it. <laughs> okay, Chef Aaron, do you know what you're going to be doing? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I got an idea. Okay, you're going to tell us or you're going to Oh, I got to keep a secret? secret, right? See, if I tell you, then he'll like have an idea, oh, right? Good idea. No, I'm going to, well, I'm getting get this. Getting everything going. Um, I'm going to make a soup, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to see how the tea comes out. We're going to kind of play with it there, but I have some ideas for sure. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, good luck. Chefs, you have 15 minutes. 15 minutes heard, thank you. All right, judges, it's starting to smell really good in here. Yes, it is. It is our dessert round, so would any of you say that you have a sweet tooth? You I definitely do. All, all my teeth are sweet. <laughs> Mine too, that's how I like to think of it, definitely. How do you think the tea is going to be incorporated into a dessert? It's drinking tea, so that's going to take some thought. It'll keep you up there after that sugar crash. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> give you some energy, give you a boost. I think it's a great challenge. It's going to be interesting to see what they come up with. Yeah. Looks like they're hard at work. Judge Angela, do you think that time is going to be a problem? It is a dessert round. It is a very much of a factor if you're baking or if you're making something, you know, that is a time a big factor when it comes to that but yeah. kind of curious how they're gonna come out now let's take a moment to learn a little bit more about Ozark Mountain Coffee well I had a career of 30 years here in Springfield and decided I'd like to get out and do something a little bit more creative something on my own where I'm my own boss make my decisions 
and express myself and really uh, coffee roasting is a, it's an artisan process. It's a 21 year old business, started in 1994. We have about 13 different countries of origins. We also do special roasts, French roasts, dark roasts. We're real proud of our organic and fair trade, like our chemical free decaf. We see it as a process that's helping us keep an eye on the planet. People in this area are, are in demand of it. We do a lot in Branson and serve the Midwest. Uh, wholesale supply, a lot of specialty food stores, gift shops, and restaurants, cafes, and coffee shops. We're here off uh, 65 and CC, just a mile south of Lambert's, and people come in here, they have a good time when they come in here. They get to learn a little bit about the coffee roasting process. We have raw product here. A lot of people have never seen raw coffee in its raw state, so people enjoy it. All right, chefs, we are halfway through the dessert round. You have 10 minutes remaining. All right, Chef Aaron. How you doing? Pretty good, what about you? Sweating. Sweating? Yeah, doing good though. Hanging in there, still breathing, so that's always a plus. Yes. Are you feeling a little? Yeah, desserts aren't my uh, yeah. forte, so we're gonna See if we can't make some crepes. Okay, that's a good idea. All right, well, I'm gonna go check in with your competitor. Thank you. Chef Wayne, what are you doing with the blackberries? Uh, blackberry, I'm just gonna macerate them, heat them up a little bit, a little sugar, a little wine, and then I'm gonna make a black tea pastry cream, and I'm gonna try to make a little scone. Right. And we'll see how that goes. All right, well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, chefs, one minute for those final touches. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, knives down. Bring it in, buddy. Chefs, the judges will now grade your final dishes. Chef Aaron, what have you prepared as your dessert? I utilized a uh, blackberry and uh, black tea sauce with, on a crepe with, took the hazelnuts um, and chocolate, so got a lot of those uh, sweet flavors going together, a little bit of savory with the crepe, and then uh, a little bit of orange segment to finish it off. Well done. Thank you. I noticed some real concentration in the dessert category, a real focus on on uh, both aspects of the chef. Sure, yeah, so, I think uh, you throw either one of us in a kitchen and you want us to produce anything else besides desserts, we're gonna flourish. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but also we've, you've, we've given you a lot of heavy flavors, so I wanna take it cleaner and crisper towards the end. Well done, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Chef Aaron, Appreciate you may return it. to your station. Chef Wing, you may not present your dish. I made a hazelnut scone with a black china pastry cream. And I uh, macerated uh, some red wine uh, blackberries and some vanilla cream sauce on top. Looks great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, excellent presentation. The cream sauce is superb. All the flavors blend excellent, blend very well. Great scone, really. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Chef Wing. You may return to your station. When we come back, the judges will present their final decision. Chefs, you 
were told to create a three-course meal using the mystery ingredients provided. The judges have tasted and discussed your plates and have come up with the final decision on who will go on and who will go home. Judge Jim, will you please give your final comments and reveal the winner of the appetizer round? Well, Chef Aaron won the appetizer round. Uh, I think we were all impressed with the, um, uh, how the, the acidity of the apple slaw complemented the bison excellently. The, uh, the way you built the uh, lean bison with the juicy flavor uh, of, with the olive oil and the spices on it was just superb. Judge Angelo, will you please give your final comments and reveal the winner of the entree round? The entree round was very, very tough. Both of you guys did excellent. Uh, Chef Wing, you got the uh, entree round because you knocked it out of the park that time. Um, your flavors matched and the presentation was there. Judge Diana, will you please give your final comments and reveal the winner of the dessert round? Okay, the dessert round, well, uh, both chefs created a beautiful dessert. Both were very, very good, um, but Chef Wing was the winner of the dessert round, the way you added the hazelnuts, and um, when they cooked, they were toasted, and that, that gave them a great flavor. It was overall a, a great dessert. Judges, what is your final decision? Uh, well, the, I'm very surprised um, to announce that Chef Wing is the overall um, winner. I came back strong with the. He, uh, he did. It's yeah. I was very I mean, surprised. Chef Aaron, unfortunately, you did not show the judges enough to move on to the semifinal round of Show Me Chefs. Congratulations, Chef Wing! You'll be moving on to the semifinal round of Show Me Chefs. Another day of competition by two excellent chefs but only one can move on to the semifinals. We'd like to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors and donors for the ingredients used today. Join us next week for another exciting episode of Show Me Chefs. Thank you.